We'll be installing the Tape Tech and Asgard Taper Cutter Chain Assembly. It's a part number 340. And on the back, of, certainly on the card, you can see all the, the tools, all the, the automatic tapers that this will fit on, this kit. So let's, let's open it up. It is an assembly, so there's a lot of the parts are already put together for you. So we have this chain, we have the spring, a little key chain on the end, the cutter block, and another chain. There's also some small parts in here that you need to be aware of that you want to keep an eye on. They, they have this little plastic thing, so keep them in there. I'll show you how to install these once we get to that. There's a, there's a blade, a pyramid blade, and a cotter pin, a little cotter pin. So we'll grab that when we need it. Um, again, all tools, uh, standard tape tech, carbon fiber, Asgard hammer. This will replace all, the, all of those parts on there. So first thing we want to do is release the spring. Just kind of release this spring right here and pull out the blade. Now, I'm going to use just a regular medium tip screwdriver. I want to remove the blade. Just loosen this screw a little bit. You don't have to, don't have to take it out all the way. Um, if you want to be safe, a pair of needle nose pliers, grab your blade. It should just pop right out. If your blade's good, keep it. Um, you don't have to tighten that up. Now, at this point, you have a cotter pin right here. Uh, I'm going to recommend a pair of cutters. These are kind of like cutters. They're very sharp. Uh, wear some safety glasses, um, you know, something to keep this, because I'm just going to cut off the top part of the cotter pin. So I'm just going to cut this. And then here on this other end, you can use a pair of pliers or needle nose pliers. Just pull out the other pieces of the cotter pin that, that's broken. Now, the chain will come off, and this piece, just so you don't lose it, just set it right here. And then push the block in. I actually need to tighten that up just a little bit, just so it'll go in. Tighten up this screw. So it'll ride through the, the guide, push this through. And then on the other side, we have the chain and the little shroud here. You can just pull this out all the way through. Let's see if I can turn it this way until it comes out. And then it'll feed down through the little shroud here. So we're just gonna kinda, that's the old cutter block. The new one, what you wanna do is have, have gravity kinda help you out a little bit. So we're going to feed this in to the shroud, a little protective shroud here. Just feed it in a little ways, just till it gets up to the cutter block. And then just kind of hold it upside down and feed it down in there so it comes out. Once it comes out, that's really important, this part right here. You want to make sure that the cutter block itself, if you can see this little, the screw, the set screws on the top. So when we feed it in, it's on the top, not on, upside down. So there's a little track right here that this chain will fit through. A little guide, cutter block guide, and just push it through. Should come out the other side. Okay, just pull that right out. Got this nice on here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to install this part right here back through. You can push the control tube back a little ways, give you a little room to work. And you're going to have to install the chain into this part right here. Now, this is where I might use a, a small pick or an awl. And what we're going to do with that is just to line up these holes. So this will come through. got to line it up. It's, it's um, mainly by sight. You can see it. Just have to kind of move it in and out here. And again, this little awl will kind of come through and hold. That way we know that we're connected. Just pull on your chain to make sure. Once you have it secured and just kind of hold the chain, we're going to install the cotter pin at this point. This piece here. Just push it on through. Like so. Now, we're going to have to bend the cotter pin over. Again, the needle nose pliers, you can just kind of take the, the tall side and bend it over first. And then the other side, you can just kind of clamp it down. Just be careful you don't tighten down too far on, on this, because this is aluminum. We don't want to bend that part right there. So you're just going to kind of do that. Or you can use a pair of pliers just to kind of, you know, make sure these are crimped together, sealed. That's all you do on that part right there. Now, we have to reinstall our blade. And the kit does come with a new blade. Um, again, loosen up. I'm using actually a smaller tip screwdriver here. Just loosen this a little bit. Take your blade, which is uh, the new blade. 
You can do this with your fingers, or if you want to be ultra safe, you can put it onto a pair of needle nose pliers and just insert it into the cutter block. Once it's in the block, you can kind of take the end of your screwdriver and just push it in so that you, you know the blade's flush and firm and tight in there so it doesn't loosen and tighten up the screw on the cutter block. Reinsert the block into the cutter assembly. Pull down on your spring. That's how you install a cutter block assembly. Really quite easy.